Yes. I, th I actually think the best way, I guess we, could, we can quantify best, but I think the, the most efficient way to do it is through a distributor. Um, it, it's not, it's easier said than done, but if you have a relationship or you build a relationship with a distributor and you can get them to be in your court, uh, meaning they're rooting for you, they know you're legit, you're not a tire kicker, you're really going to do something in this industry, you're serious, which is easier said than done. If you can do that, their network will expand and open up to you. And, and distributors, whether people know this or not, especially the best distributors, they get leads every day. And if you've ever if you've ever gone from being not in the industry to being in the industry, when you become an owner, you immediately start getting leads just by nature of you being in the industry. Well, distributors are that usually times five or ten because they have a Rolodex. They have a they have a customer list of customers. And a lot of times when laundromat owners decide to sell their business, they don't know what to do. And so the first thing they do is call their distributor and their distributors like, well, OK, your store's over on the. West side of Cincinnati. Okay. I know six customers over there that are looking to develop on the West side of Cincinnati. And a lot of times they'll put you in touch with them. Now, sometimes they'll want to broker that deal and they'll want a little cut of the commission or whatever. And you can decide if you want to do that or not. But I think that's the best way to do it. Um, probably not the most efficient way to do it. Probably the most efficient way to do it is to send out letters. Uh, walking in the stores can be effective, but I'm not sure it's super efficient time-wise. Uh, I would agree with Madison. I think she was talking about calling them. Uh, if you just randomly call them, I'd say your likelihood of success is probably pretty close to zero. Uh, stalker, I think, is a word she used. And yeah, mm -hmm. somebody called somebody called my store. They would not be getting me. In fact, somebody just tried the other day. And uh, my team is uh, pretty bullish me. when it comes to preventing me. I was the one who tried to buy your <laughs> store. Yeah. I told you to quit calling me after you called me names. So just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I would say. Jordan, what do you think? Yeah. So, I, I mean, I think Dino says raw brought up one point that I wanted to make on the, cause I think distributors can be a great way. Brokers obviously could be a great way to get in touch with, uh, with owners. The downside to the distributor thing is distributors make money by selling mm -hmm. equipment. Right. And so a lot of times those laundromats that they're going to bring to you are ones that are going to need equipment. And in order to get that deal, you're going to need to buy the equipment through them. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing or a bad deal. Mm -hmm. It's just something to be aware of um in that process uh so but i think that's that's a great way to go um i so i mean i do a lot i have a, a lot of consulting calls coaching calls or whatever um and a lot of my consulting clients are finding success sending letters mm -hmm. um they're getting off-market leads that are turning into laundromats mm -hmm. that they're purchasing um, and that's all over uh, the country, a lot of, I mean, if you've been looking for laundromats for any bit of time now, and you're trying to go through like a broker or sometimes even distributors, one very common thing that I'm hearing all over the place across the board is that brokers are not calling back or they're not emailing back. And so while Madison is kind of joking about the stalker thing uh, with the owners, when it comes to a broker, if you want to get that deal in this market today, a lot of times you got to become a little bit of a stalker of that broker and hit them through their email, through their phone, uh, show up at their kid's school, hold somebody hostage, something like that. Uh, Let's not send these people to okay. jail. please. Don't do that. Uh, but you've got to, you've got to like uh, squeaky wheel gets the oil. You got to make mm -hmm. yourself heard uh, in those situations. So, I mean, like Dave said, best could mean a whole lot of different things, but effective right now is sending letters uh, and, would, and going through brokers and all that too. Yeah, I would agree. That's the most efficient way to do it. And if I could add something, I get I get probably dozens of letters every week or every month probably um, to my stores. And most of them are from brokers mm -hmm. and they, they don't say they're brokers. They mm -hmm. pretend to be interested in my store or something. And uh, I'd be willing to pay $2 million for your store when it's worth $2 or whatever, you know, it's like mm -hmm. silly. So one of the things I always recommend with the letters is hand write a letter, mm -hmm. introduce yourself. And I start the sentence with, I am not a business broker. Now, of course, a business broker could lie, but I always start with that. And I like to put a picture uh, of me and my wife in it. Uh, now, this is years ago. I don't really do this anymore because I get enough leads. I was going to say, don't I don't put really, a view no, in it. That's not no, going to do any favors. Really, <laughs> well, I mean, Carla. I mean, yeah, Carla, Carla yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Carla uh, and the kids, you know, and maybe if you're like in the background, but a little blurry. Right. But I like, I used to, when I would do that back in the day, I liked them, I liked to make it personal so that they knew I was yeah. a real person. 
and the odds of them responding to an email or a call or whatever higher probability i actually know quite a few coaching clients that have pretty good luck too with just walking into a store and trying mm -hmm. to catch the owner there whether it's fixing washers or dryers there's definitely an art to that that i don't have time to go into on this uh, but so don't just walk in and be like, Hey, I want to buy your store. You should sell me your store. I always say, just make contact and then try to arrange a way to have coffee or take them out to their favorite restaurant or whatever. And just tell me you want to pick their brain. Don't just start aggressively by saying, I want to, uh, I want to buy your store or something like that.